What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 13.3, 13.3.1, 13.2, 13.0 .13 on iPhone 10 and lower using CheckRain, the official CheckRain on Linux. Now the official CheckRain jailbreak has been released. And as I said, it supports the iPhone 5S all the way up to the iPhone 10 and everything in between. And it supports iOS 12.3 and up. And of course the Linux version is finally available. So you no longer need a Mac OS machine and you no longer need Rain USB or or Rainstorm or other unofficial tools, the official Linux build is available. And as I said, this supports the latest iOS 13.3.1 and 13.3 iOS versions. And this is of course a jailbreak with Cydia. And of course 13.2.3, 13.2 and stuff like that are all supported. So let's see how we can jailbreak these devices. I have here an iPhone 7 Plus and I'm going to jailbreak this on Linux. So I'm running Linux on this computer in here and we press the Linux download. And it says in here that the best way on Debian based distros like Ubuntu, Linux Mint and stuff like that is to use their repo. I'm not going to use the repo, I'm just going to get the download binaries in here. And you have the downloads for the x86, which is the one I'm going to use, and probably if you have a computer, a normal desktop computer or a laptop, this is probably the one you want. If you have a Raspberry Pi, you probably need the ARM64 or ARM1 in here. And this one, I have no idea what architecture is. But yeah, in my case, and very likely in your case, the x86-64 one is the one you need. Now, I already have that downloaded, so let's see what we can do with it. Now, in order to use it, you need to basically go ahead here on the downloads. And I already downloaded it, so you have to open a terminal window like I do in here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that um, you can see. I'm going to have to run ch mode plus x in order to give it permissions to run and execute. And we're going to press enter in here after we put the path for the file. Now it should be able to run. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you. And I'm going to run sudo so that we start this application as root and drag it and drop it in here. And it should be able to basically run with no problem. I'm going to type my password and there we are. So as you can see here, while this doesn't have an interface on Linux, you know, a graphical user interface, it does have a text based one in here. And um, it's actually quite good. You can navigate with your keyboard. It has detected my phone. It says in here, iPhone 7 plus GSM on iOS 13.3. Now I'm going to press start in here. Uh, of course, there are options. The interface is a little bit different on Linux than on Mac OS, but you do have options in here for the boot arguments, the verbose boot, safe mode, and of course, to allow untested iOS versions, but you don't need to change any of them at the moment. So we're going to press back and press start in here. As I said, you navigate with your arrows on the keyboard and I'm going to press enter and there we go. It says that the device needs to be put in DFU mode. We're going to press in here and uh, of course it's going to enter in recovery mode. That's normal and it's done to prevent any you know accidental wiping or corruption of the data and stuff like that. And now of course we get the information on how to put the device in DFU mode. The device will show a computer, a uh, laptop and a power cord. So I'm going to press start in here and of course follow the instructions on the screen. Press and hold volume down and of course the power button at the same time. And uh, that should basically bring us into the DFU mode. It shouldn't be that hard to do it. So uh, I'm just going to do it right away in here and uh, hopefully that would do. So let me put the device in DFU mode. And it says in here that device entered DFU mode successfully. We have a progress bar in there and now we're waiting for the, uh, the thing to complete. All right, so after a while, your device will boot into the home screen again. And as you can see, now we have a check rain application in here that you can use to install Cydia if it's the first time you run this jailbreak. You can also use it to restore the file system if everything goes wrong with your jailbreak and you a fresh start but uh, in my case it wasn't the first time so I do have Cydia already installed and it's basically now available in here. Now you will need to use the application on Linux again and again every time you reboot your device because this is a semi-tethered jailbreak which means that you need a computer to reactivate the jailbreak every time. So if you reboot your phone you will need a computer again. But yeah Cydia works fine as you can see from here and if I go here to the changes we do have a couple of them here. I'm gonna press upgrade and stuff like that so you can see that we do have a fully functional Cydia on 13.3. So basically that's how it works. That's how you jailbreak on Linux with the check rain jailbreak. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geo Snow and till the next time, peace out.